Hi, it's Mike with Hineker Company, and today we're going to put a seal kit in an angle cylinder. First thing we'll want to do is remove this paint from the rod end of the cylinder. Okay, what I've used is just some emery cloth here to remove the paint so we can slide this nut off. Um, so we'll re-clamp the vise here on the butt end of the cylinder. You may need to, to a bigger wrench to get this here um, packing nut off. So this one was fairly good. So it's starting to come. I'm gonna reposition my vise here. I don't want to squeeze it real tight, but I just don't want to get it holding in place. So with the packing nut loose, I'm going to pull this whole rod out in one piece. So you'll notice this kit in the original cylinder had a white ring in it. Your new kit won't, but it does have, what that is, is the really cold temperature ring. There will be two of those in here that they're black. Um, they look similar to the other ones, but it, it's what the difference is between them. And our packing nut will have a seal on the end of it too. We'll show how to remove that here in just a minute. We're gonna remove the uh, rod from the packing nut here. And that's where you'll, you'll need that paint removed from there to get that out a little bit easier. So now we'll pull this here packing nut seal out. There you go. We'll take our kit and we'll get that new ring put in it. You'll notice on this, what we removed was a steel ring at the bottom, a ring that has a flat surface that will go up against that. And then the ones we took out have a uh, concave on the bottom of them that faces the steel ring. So what you wanna do is make sure that the rod is good and clean. Um, you'll wanna wash out your cylinder tube with solvent, get that real clean. Also, and our Split rings here, I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you take a little bit of grease, just a dab of grease, it'll help hold those rings in place while you reassemble it. So just put a dab of grease on the inside of each of those. And that'll help hold them in place while you reassemble. So you want to make sure that you have a plug removed here where this hose would go in, just so you're not building up air pressure as you're trying to reassemble it. Okay, so we'll reinsert the rod and you notice with that grease on those rings, split rings, they'll stay in place here for us. We'll get that inserted. We'll give our cylinder rod just a little shot of lubricant here to help the seal slide on a little bit better. We'll go with our steel seat ring. Our seal with the flat bottom here. Do these one at a time. You might need the help of a little straight screwdriver just to get them pushed in so they get to the bottom here. And then we'll start with our cup washers and the cup surface goes towards the steel ring at the bottom. Doing one at a time is easiest.
Okay, once we get to that point, then we'll put our packing nut back on it. I'm gonna give it a little bit more um, lubricant here. And a little bit of inside on that packing, inside the packing nut here, the seal. I just use a, a hammer handle. You can use a rubber handle. I'm just using the wooden handle of the hammer here just to get that packing nut slid back on. We'll get that down in there. And we'll start inserting the uh, packing nut into the body here. And we'll screw the packing nut back on here. do is you know as soon as you feel that start to make contact like that uh, just a general setting you give it about a three-quarter turn to give some initial tension on that seal the packing nut seal um, new seal kit you may get a little bit of weepage a little bit of dripping out of here um, until those seals fully saturate with oil you're going to have a little bit of a leak there um, if it continues to leak give it an eighth of an inch turn increments until your leak stops so that's how we rebuild a single acting cylinder. I'm going to put the plug back in here to keep the inside of that cylinder clean. If you have any questions, you can always contact me here, Mike at Hineker Company, and be sure to subscribe.